this is the RCA double cassette radio tuner model RP7855A it presented a problem where it just wasn't playing anything at all so uh, one of the first things that I did was to hook up some temporary speakers to it and increase the volume to see if the power amplifier was at fault When I did that, I noticed that the volume control changed the hum on the temporary speakers, which indicated that the power amplifier section was good. So what I've done, I've opened up the, um, the RCA double cassette deck, and I see that it is built around three chips, a TAB127N, which is the FM chip, the pre-amplifier which is a TDA7286 and the power amplifier which is a KA2206B okay what I'm going to do here I'm going to take the outputs tap the outputs from the FM chip and see if I get sound so I'm tapping pins 13 and 14 And I've gotten sound, so it's telling me that the FM chip is working. Uh, the next thing I would want to do is to check the preamp. So if I put in a signal, or if I check for a signal going to the preamp, then I would be able to tell whether there's some routing problem from the FM chip, or whether the preamp is at fault. Okay, so the next step is to check the input to the preamp, and see if signal is going into the preamp. So I'm going to do pins 3 and pin 1 of the preamp which is the input of the first preamp in this big preamp IC uh, I've got no input signal I'm gonna check the other inputs And again, I've gotten no input signal, so this is telling me that there's a problem going to the preamp, and I will subsequently look for that. At the same time, I could pulse the preamp with a signal and see if there's an output. But I will look at the circuit board that is running from the FM chip to the preamp and see if I discover any discrepancies there. After tracing the circuit board, what I found is that a crack was existing along the circuit board. Uh, this crack coincided with the, the switch, the auxiliary switch at the front. So uh, my best guess is that this is cutting off signal from going to the power amplifier. What I'll do, I'll um, take off the varnish cover and attempt to sort about the circuit board and then we'll see if it works on there. So what I've done, I've cleaned up some of the tracks here and we'll sort of connect them and see if the uh, radio works. So what I've done here, I've tried to bridge the broken circuit board with some wires and We'll attempt to show that the radio works now. Okay, I've replaced the circuit board and um, fixed the crack on the circuit board. And as you can see, the radio works. Good Monday night here, TNT 7 after 8 on the Mix 95 1FL. Mike Cross back in the saddle for another week of the best night. So, this problem is solved.